Am I the asshole? For making my girlfriend cheap lasagna? I make a delicious lasagna from scratch that takes hours and lots of money to make. It's so good that friends and family ask me to make it for them for birthdays instead of getting them a gift. Last month I decided to make it for my girlfriend I spent a lot of money on the ingredients and then more than half of the day making the herb infused fresh pasta dough, the ragu, etc. When she came over, she took a couple of bites and said that she didn't understand why I spent so much time and money on it because it tasted exactly like the lasagna she would make with canned panzani bolognese sauce and boxed pasta sheets not similar, not kinda like, but exactly like it. My feelings were a little hurt NGL, but I understand that to each their tastes and I just told her I'm sorry she didn't like it that much and then kept it pushing and suggested we watch a movie. Flash forward to yesterday, she was coming over for dinner and I asked her what she wanted to eat and she said lasagna. So I popped over to the store and got panzani sauce and pasta sheets to make it because a she said my lasagna and the quick made one tasted the exact same, so no need to spend a lot on ingredients and b because even if I had wanted to make my recipe, I wouldn't have the time since it takes me an entire afternoon, which is why it's a special occasions thing. So she showed up at my house, took one bite of the lasagna and then spat it out and said that it tastes different. When I told her I made it how she did, she got really upset at me and said that I wasn't putting in effort and that she was expecting to have a real meal and not something cheap. I pointed out the comments she made last time, and she rolled her eyes and said she was clearly exaggerating. So then I got upset because wth. The situation got brought up to our mutual friends, most have stayed out of it but two of them think I'm the asshole because my gf clearly meant she wanted my special lasagna which is why she asked for it as dinner, and that I should have let her known beforehand that I was going to make one using pre-made sauce etc I think it was clear that that's what I was gonna do cause she literally asked for lasagna two hours before coming over, which is not enough time to make the special one even if I wanted to. Am I the asshole? To clarify, the cheap lasagna tasted just fine, pretty tasty even just not at all comparable to the original one, in my opinion. Edit just wanted to say I've posted the lasagna recipe in the comments for those interested. Not the asshole. Boy you really can't win with her, can you? You make good lasagna, she complains, you make simple lasagna, she complains. That must be exhausting to figure out what she actually wants. Not the asshole. But two of them think I'm the asshole because my GF clearly meant she wanted my special lasagna which is why she asked for it as dinner. No, she didn't clearly mean that because if she did then she would have mentioned it specifically, especially after questioning the time and effort it took to create an objectively better dish. Overall, now she knows the difference between asking for lasagna and asking for your lasagna. Your lasagna just saved your life. It revealed your girlfriend for the petty, ungrateful person she really is. Now you can safely escape before you signed a lease, bought a car, got married or had kids. Not the asshole, and praise be lasagna. Not the asshole. She dismissed your meal last time comparing it to quick and easy recipes. Further, as you stated, you didn't have time to make the from scratch. In two hours notice? LOL. If she can't understand it, then she's being incredibly obtuse or unreasonable. She owes you an apology for her behavior. Not the asshole your GF sounds like hard work. So she clearly thought your original lasagna was noticeably nicer than the cheaper version but she wanted to. What? Take you down a peg or two? Keep you on your toes by telling you it wasn't all that great? She doesn't sound very nice, are you sure you want to stay with a person like that? Not the asshole she sounds toxic and spoiled. Not the asshole. First, she bashed your from scratch lasagna the last time. Second, when she said she wanted lasagna two hours before coming over. She knew damn well that didn't give you time to make it the way you did before which again, she turned her nose up at. She's the a-hole, not you. I need to see this recipe before giving an opinion. Seriously though, not the asshole. 
Don't talk down about something then complain when somebody listens to you. Not the asshole. As an Italian-American, dissing a lovingly handmade lasagna is absolutely fighting words. She belittled your efforts food is a love language and then has the balls to cry about not getting the same effort. Nope. No one cooks on demand, especially when it goes unappreciated. Uck. Throw out the whole girlfriend. Not the asshole she sounds pretty rude. Who says that to someone who cooked them a meal from scratch? Not the asshole if someone insults my food after I put hours and a lot of love and care into it, I'm not making that again for them. Your GF sounds like the type who thinks nothing is ever good enough. If this is the case, you may want to reevaluate your relationship. Not the asshole. First she insults your high quality homemade lasagna. Then insults your quick lasagna. You can't win either way. She needs to apologize for her comments on both lasagna. Not the asshole. Keep the lasagna recipe for special occasions. Ditch the GF. Not the asshole. She said it tasted exactly the same. So what is she complaining about now? Not the asshole. But if she would lie to you about the lasagna and then expect you to still make it, that is a rather large red flag to consider. Nata. Your girlfriend sounds terrible. Who belittles their partner's specialty dish like that? Then proceeds to get upset when they won't make it anymore? Does she use this bait and switch often on you? Insulting something you work hard at or love, only to get pissed of and act like it's your fault that you don't want to do make the thing around her anymore? Because that's emotionally abusive. You need to put your foot down or leave her. Not the asshole. Up, I love lasagna. If you don't mind, please share your recipe, two hearts, I will worship the ground you walk on, forever. Not the asshole your gf sounds incredibly immature and her behavior in this situation was toxic. Not the asshole. The last time you made it she specifically said she didn't understand why you spent so much time and money on your version. So it makes no sense that she then expected you to, spend so much time and money on your version. Not the asshole. Bless the lasagna of truth. You were supposed to accept her insults, then grovel and use magics and time travel to produce the lasagna she insulted. And now she conveniently gets to play victim and cause drama with people? Run away. Up as a chef myself I'll give you some advice for dating while being a cook. Don't date people who equate your effort to frozen goods as they have no taste to speak of. Had an ex tell me that my 12 hours sauce tasted like canned sauce and like with yours I made the canned stuff and it went to waste. The time and effort someone puts into their food truly makes it unique, no one should put that to shame. Not the asshole. If she wanted the special lasagna she should have clarified so you could let her know you didn't have time. Also, she's a witch with a capital B for making the shitty comments about your special one and then getting mad at you for not making something she told you shouldn't waste your time doing. Seriously? You made dinner she wants to complain about it? No more lasagna for you. Not the asshole.